do other stuff and I wanted to progress. So I had to get away from uniform policing. Now, you've mentioned about losing your head. I don't know if you've seen it. Now, I, I understand that this goes out later than, <clears throat> than we're recording it. But Tommy Robinson uh, has just been arrested. I've seen that. Now, this is interesting. Now, there has been... Um, calls for me to reach out to him and him likewise I don't want to get caught up in um, that Muslim stuff and I don't want to get caught up in the, the, the alt-right politics and all that however I'm going to side with him massively on this one oh. because um, he his daughter was sexually assaulted by what looks like if the information is right a group of paedophiles who have got themselves down into like a paedophile haven which is the centre parks and you know and um that they're in cahoots with each other. So you've probably got a conspiracy mm -hmm. to commit indecent assault. So every one of them should have been arrested. They should have been searched. Uh, their computers, their phones should have been interrogated. They should have done a Rolls Royce job on them. And instead they arrest him because he detained one of them. And in the melee, gets one of them gets a bit of a spanking. Uh, Tommy got the jail because apparently the man grabbed his daughter, eight-year-old daughter's bum. Yeah, yeah. And he lost the rag and Tommy got the jail. Yeah, yeah. And then... Um, I'm not for the politics no, side. No, I'm with for, you. For the grooming gangs and what he does, it yep. takes a lot of courage and balls to put himself at the forefront because his life is in danger of every course. single yeah, second yeah, yeah. of the day. <clears throat> and, and this is the first time I've made a, a, a public testimony toward, towards him. Um, I know his real name's Stephen. You know, and I and I say to you, if you're out there, Stephen, I don't want a camera. You know, you did the right thing, my friend. You did, and and I think you're going to get a lot of support for this. And I myself will personally back you on this one. I, I don't agree so much with the other. We differ in things. But on this one, you're bang on right. The guys were paedophiles. And I'm going to tell you now, I um, uh, and, and I'm sort of aiming at this, him and his, and his little team there. We turned up a, 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 a case. And for some reason, they sent the detectives in first. They said, can you go to this address? A paedophile has been detained. And it was um, a Jamaican family had found out that one of the family had been sexually assaulted in... Um, one of the young girls, very similar age to, to, to Tommy's young daughter. <clears throat> and when we went round there, this bloke was just like a battered offering. His eyes were hanging out. He was, I don't think there was a bone left unbroken in his body. And at no point did we even consider questioning how that happened. Then, well interested. Oh. And we took him in, in case he had to go to hospital, but he never said anything. And um, nothing was pursued on that. And it weren't going to be either. Yeah. We weren't interested. Can you imagine that swimming with your kid and someone does that? You're going to, you're close to, everybody's got a breaking point. Yeah. The the strongest man be, can, be, can become yeah. the weakest and the weakest can become the strongest. If someone does that, your kid, I'm surprised because I know to, he, he can go for it as well. Yeah. He, he will not back I down. Think he's a I'm tough surprised nut, yeah. he never killed the boy, but he probably knew the backlash would have got. And now the papers have blamed him as if he was in the wrong, which is sad as well because. This is the thing with media, they don't portray the right story. They don't. And and you look, they sent three coppers around. That was common assault. That could have been dealt with by a summons. They didn't need to nick him. There was no justification for nicking him. The, the three guys should have been nicked. They're on about a breach of the peace, continuing with a breach of the peace. Well, nick the three paedophiles. Mm. Go and search their homes. You, you've got a golden opportunity. I used to say this to um, when I, I talked detectives for a while. And they're always on about getting the big job and all that. I said, they'll come. I said, but I'll tell you what, there's no worse crime than paedophilia. They went, well, you know, it doesn't get reported much. I said, right, well, has anyone got a Tesco's where they're working? I went, yeah. I said, well, there'll be a guy begging now. Yeah. Get talking to him, because I bet you he's on heroin. And I bet you he's on heroin because someone's hurt him. And I bet you if you become friends with him, he'll tell you he's hurt him. And therefore, you've got a paedophile ring already. That guy's giving you a golden thing, you know, straight away. Uh -huh. You know, and help him out. 